So recently on Facebook and Instagram, I've come across some ads for a minimalist LED corner lamp that I thought was really cool, but they were really expensive, anywhere from $150 to $300. We can do it cheaper. Stick around and see how I did this for under $50 and no tools. You'll need one 10 foot piece of PVC. We went with one inch, but you could go any other size you want. If you want it smaller, three quarter inch, if you want bigger, whatever size they offer. Uh, we had it cut in store to a five foot length and then two, and I think they're like two foot lengths, somewhere there, maybe two and a half feet. I can't remember. But the 10, piece, 10 foot piece of PVC cost $3.24. So all of that was $3.24, and you don't even have to cut anything because they'll cut it. Three of these caps, which are optional, but I wanted them to plug these holes so nothing crawls in there. Come home for spiders, and those cost $0.83 cents a piece. And you'll need one of these three-way connectors, which you can buy right at Home Depot for... Two dollars and sixty-seven cents. So in total, all the PVC and parts cost eleven sixty-five. And then we got a can of black spray paint because we're going to spray paint it black, and that cost an extra six dollars. And then we got these off Amazon. We've bought these before; they're twenty-seven dollars. So for under fifty dollars, you can have your corner LED light. It may not look pretty or exactly the same as the ones they sell online, but it's going to look cool, I think, and serve the same function. And in 10 seconds, you have your lamp frame. We're gonna take it outside and spray paint it black. Now that we've let the paint dry, we're going to stick some LED lights on this. We're going to start over here because our outlet will be on this side of the lamp. We're going to tape there all the way up, back down, and end it over there. And there it is. It comes with a remote, a bunch of different modes that you can switch through, and then a bunch of different colors. And aside from waiting for the paint to dry, this took us probably 10 minutes to complete.